Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio, here live via Skype with James Jacob Prash. Jacob, one of the believers here in the U.S., uh, had the question, he's witnessing to a Catholic individual. Now, you and I are both ex-Catholics, and he said, based on this verse, 2 Peter 1 through 20, are we not to interpret the Bible for ourselves? The Catholic person said he trusts in what the magisterium teaches because they are the teaching arm of the church well, first of all the issue is not based on second peter chapter one primarily it begins with what jesus said one is your teacher who's in heaven call no man your father the magisterium of the roman catholic church calls the pope the holy father which he is not jesus denounced calling any man by that title one is your father who's in heaven in matthew 23 jesus also stated flatly and unambiguously that one is your teacher who is in heaven. Our teacher is the Holy Spirit. He comes from heaven and he illuminates the word of God to us. The word of God is that which Peter does speak of in this particular chapter as a lamp that is shining in a dark place. Thy word is a lamp to my feet, a light to my path. You do well to pay attention in verse 19 to a lamp shining in a dark place. Until the day dawns, and the morning star arises in your hearts, that alludes to the return of Christ. But know this, first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture is a matter of one's own interpretation. It is not, for no prophecy was ever made by an act of human will, but men, moved by the Holy Spirit, spoke from God. It is the Holy Spirit who interprets it, not the magisterium of a pedophile-protecting Vatican. Uh, this is the reality. Jesus never taught any such thing. He trusts the magisterium of the church. That's the final word of the Pope, ultimately. No, no. The Pope is not infallible when he speaks ex cathedra. Only God is infallible. Call no man your father on earth. One is your father who's in heaven, and one is your teacher. Look at the word prayerfully and carefully and the Holy Spirit will teach you through it. Now, this is not subjective, and there are teachers in the body of Christ. But when you hear the Word of God taught or expounded, is the Holy Spirit bearing witness with your spirit that that is the truth? You keep your eyes on the Lord and on His Word, not on any man. God may speak through a man, but certainly not through a man who claims to be the Holy Father. He's an imposter. One is your Father who's in heaven. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea. It's an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation. 
culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be shadows of the beast, shadows of the beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.